it was interesting to see that you you reached out to the Bears right when the with the coaching vacancy happened. What, what's your relationship like with the franchise? You know, I, I don't uh, I don't particularly have a, a great relationship with the Bears. Um, you know, I talk to Ted Phillips every blue moon. Um, you know, Ted and I know each other more so than anybody else in the in the building because uh, I negotiated my contracts with Ted. You know, so we we definitely uh, go way back. But uh, other than that, that that's really about it. When you say it's not a great relationship, how, how come? No, what I mean is, it's not like a hey, how you how you guys doing? It, it's not like that. Uh, <laughs> It is uh, if, if I see, you know, anyone in the organization, um, I, you know, I will say, hello, how you doing or whatever. But I, you know, when I was with the uh, when I was with the Bears, you know, basically my my relationship was with the coaches, uh, particularly Buddy Ryan um, and Coach Ditka. And, um, you know, really uh, Dave McGinnis after Buddy Ryan left. And uh, pretty much that that was um, that that's kind of uh, I, I didn't have a, a lot of relationships uh, when I was with the Bears and and uh, but really loved the time that I was there, had a t- tremendous amount of uh, the teammates the, that were there. Uh, it was golden. I, I, I still love all the guys and I uh, love the organization. But, uh, you know, there's just not, you know, life goes on and, and you, you just kind of go in different directions and and uh, move on. You know, it, we've heard that kind of thing from players of your era, folks we've talked to, and players of even a more recent vintage and other former Bears. I wonder why it is, Mike, that, that so many don't really have an active relationship with the team. Do you have any, can you give us any insight and, into what that might be from the team's perspective, some sort of philosophy about not embracing the past or past players? You know, I, 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 I don't know. I, I think, um, you know, it could be that most teams are like that. I, I really don't know. I think if you talk to most of the players and it sounds like, um, you know, from the one that you talk to, you hear the same thing. I just think that a lot of the guys that I played with, um, you know, you, you have a life after the game, and um, you just kind of move on. There are other things that, that you can do, other talents that you have, and, and um, you know, there's not a lot of guys that kind of look at the game and, you know, call the Bears when they're done and say, hey, what are you guys doing? What are you thinking? What are you – it, it just, uh, hey, you know what, I, I, I was there once. And uh, did the best that I could when I was there, and was part of something really special. And uh, but you move on, and I, I really, I don't think there's anything more to it than that. You know, we talk about that damn team so much, Mike. It's like the city hasn't moved on because it's been so long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, hey, say that with some more respect in your voice, there, Parkins. He's young, Mike. You know? I'm, just, I'm just saying, it, you know, it, it, it's a compliment. Like it, the, you know what? I I would say this. In, in all honesty, I, I I would love for the team to do something really special to allow the guy that that were there in '85 to to talk about something else. Great about the Bears, other than eighty-five. <laughs> I would love yeah. to see that. Yeah, we would too. We would too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm with you, my man. I am. I'm with you. 